in our Tech Tuesday <laughs> segment, Katie Johnson is here now. You're talking about some spring break apps to make, you know, vacations just a little bit easier. So tell us about the first one that you have. Yeah, so the first one we have is going to be Waze. This app is going to be the social media app of navigation. It's going to allow you to sign in, put in your destination, and show you live updates on any traffic incidents, maybe a police trap, an accident, heavy traffic flow. Mm -hmm. It's going to help you re-navigate your uh, route so that you can avoid that area. Always important when you don't know where you're going. I Absolutely. Mean, you're and going it also gives you the opportunity to upload something. So if you're the first to come across maybe a traffic backup, oh. you can upload that so you can warn other drivers as well. There's not a lot of reason to be with triple A anymore when you travel across the country, is there? <laughs> I mean, probably, probably not. not. There's too many apps and <laughs> your phone is, has pretty much everything you need, exactly. right? Exactly. All right, exactly. so the second um, app, everybody pretty much knows about this Everyone one. knows about Yelp. This one's very important when you're traveling. You're wondering where to eat, you're not familiar with the area, and a lot of people are headed down to Indianapolis this weekend. Mm -hmm. Use Yelp, you'll be able to read reviews on locations, check their hours, view their menu, get ideas of what you want to eat. It's really nice too because you can look for something specific. Right. Or you can just look for something general. If you want to know where the nearest coffee shop is, check that out. It'll show you the different places around and which ones have the highest so reviews. So good to use. So I convenient. Mean, it is. All right, and then the third one, we were talking earlier, this is awesome. This is an it. amazing app. This is going to help organize your trip. Maybe you're going a lot of destinations, you need that rental car, that um, flight arrangement, all of that. This one's going to allow you to put everything in one spot. So you can actually sync TripIt to your email. So when those confirmations come in from different companies, it's automatically going to upload all your flight and travel information oh, for you. Yeah. One so of you're the, not having papers and scrambling trying to figure out where's what and exactly. all that. Exactly. And one thing I absolutely love about this is once your information is in TripIt, you can access it offline. So you don't need a connection to the internet. You don't need to have good reception. You'll make sure you have all those confirmation numbers there as soon as you need them. When I travel across country, I just have a map with a big yellow marker. <laughs> saying all the way. It's all old Any, anybody like, do that anymore? I haven't seen the map in so long. Yeah. Nobody, no? Never even bought <laughs> probably a map. No. Yeah. They were hard to fold. Yeah. yeah. So much That's more convenient with this app. Yeah, on your yes. tablet and your phone. It's on okay. anyway now. I'll do it. All right. For more information about those apps, just visit our website, NBC26.com, and click on the story. Katie, we will see you again next Tuesday. Thank Thanks, Katie. Coming up next, Dan Coob is in with today's take. Take a deep